Hello everyone, this is Ray Space. Welcome back to the Trappist-1 Hard Career with Stock Parts in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. When we previously left the Trappist-1 system, I had launched some commsats around Kerbin. Again, this is in large Kerbin, uh, whatever we want to call it, Turbin, uh, Trappist Kerbin. And I had a rescue contract to do. Tomfin's derelict is in orbit here, but because we haven't unlocked the tracking station upgrade, which costs 300,000 and we don't have 300,000, I can't see Tomfin's orbital parameters. So that makes it very hard to do the rendezvous and try to grab Tomfin, but that's a challenge. That's what makes it fun. So I'm going to try it anyway. We had launched the rescue craft. It's just that because of the communication situation, I wasn't able to do its maneuvers properly, and we're going to try that once again. So I'm going to go to it and see if I can, I can do the maneuvers to rescue Tompin. So here we are. That is a blanket of clouds right there. Um, we have 400 meters per second, it says, which may or may not be enough. Tompin is there, uh, well ahead of us. Well, I can try to bring the orbit down a little bit, but we don't have comms right now. <laughs> okay, we'll have to see whether we ever... Let, let's first assess the situation by seeing if we ever get comms through the commsats. Well, certainly not from that height, it looks like. Yeah, we set up commsats, but I don't see any indication that they're helping this one out. Maybe its dish needs to be... I mean, it, it's only got this antenna. And... It's only a 500k antenna, so it just might not be good enough. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay off of this rescue mission and try to make some money other ways and then send up a new rescue mission with a better antenna. And that might be a better thing to do. Now, some people suggested increasing the capabilities of the ground stations, but mainly the problem is line of sight. So, even if we increase their range, as long as we're this close to Kerbin, it, they're not going to communicate with us. We would need more ground stations rather than ones with longer range. And as far as the whole system is concerned, remember that this system is actually smaller than the Kerbal system. Uh, I, I know it's weird because the, the worlds are much larger than the Kerbal worlds. They're Earth-sized worlds, but they're all very close together. So, the ranges we need as far as the interplanetary stuff is concerned is not that great. Um, the problem is our world here is so bulky that when we're in a tight orbit like this for the rescue, we can't really communicate very well. If we were in a higher orbit like one that would be typical of Earth, then that would be a different story. But we have to be at 70 kilometers because our target's at 70 kilometers. But maybe I'll just leave this here for now. Um, it's doing fine. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. Maybe it'll be a rescue vessel for something else some other time. And let me see about other contracts we can pick up in order to boost our funds so that we can maybe unlock the tracking station. However, we only have two. We only have two contract slots. Maybe, maybe I should spend on planning, but. Flight planning is useless without the tracking station upgrade, but at least we'll get slots for more contracts, and I don't want to give up the ant engine yet. So, getting the spark would be nice, but yeah, that getting the spark would be nice. And then maybe we can toss in these temperature readings. We'd have to be very careful. And then there's explore the moon. All right. So I'm going to upgrade mission control. Well, positioning the satellite into orbit around the moon won't be too bad. And also, it'll give us a commsat around the moon, which could help. But really, I would need more technology to get better dishes. That would be a good thing to do. Uh, but at least it's a start, so all right. And we could get this rescue contract since we we're already doing one. I'll get the spark engine like this, because... Yeah, well, first let me get the Explore the Moon contract. That's very lucrative. It doesn't say anything about having a Kerbal. But we do have to return to Kerbin. And then the temperature scans. So what we'll do... 
is we'll uh, I mean if we're gonna have it as a comm set we won't have it as a comm set what we're going to do is we're going to send a satellite into polar orbit around the moon and we are going to make it something that can come back but only after doing the temperature surveys so one mission to do all that business that's the goal anyway so probe core um, heat shield and we'll try to have two high gain antennas help us out here even though we're gonna dump them we'll see what they're capable of we do have these fuel tanks now but the part counts gonna get iffy part counts already iffy and that probably shouldn't have it like this now see that's already 30 parts um I think we should use SRBs just because it's fewer parts but I'm still a little bit high on the part count so I'm going to ditch the barometer there maybe I'll counterbalance the thermometer with a battery I mean not that it needs to be counterbalanced I don't think but just have one battery but transmitting data I don't think we need to transmit the data do we that thermometers aren't too bad temperature surveys I don't know if the temperature surveys gonna take a lot of charge I think it'll be alright with a hundred this doesn't feel like it's gonna be enough we're looking at eight thousand seven at uh, four hundred and seventy seven we have a lot of stuff to do there. Got to try to cut out some of the ablator. Well, I think this is going to be able to do something over at the moon. I don't know what exactly, but we'll see. Hopefully we can at least do the explore the moon. Get into orbit and then come back would be good. But we have to reserve enough to come back. That takes a lot. But orbit is, well, it's vague. I mean, a stable orbit, we, it can be very loose, so that's good. Well, I say that, but then the moon is very small, so and has very small uh, sphere of influence. So we'll see. We'll see what will be best. Okay, moon orbiter. Let's just say, and let's try it. Well, we still don't have a way to replenish on the pad, so I'll just go. Throttle up, no, throttle up, SAS on, and actually we want this engine igniting at the same time, otherwise we are going to have severe problems. So, go. Otherwise we can't control the rocket. Uh, uh, almost tipping, almost tipping, oh no, it's tipping. Eek. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's not okay, it's not okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's not okay, it's okay, boosters, oh, okay, oh, no, it's better now, no, don't worry, oh, shoot, <laughs> ah, Very exciting. I don't know if this is gonna have enough to do much. Maybe we can at least fly by the moon. Uh, I'm down to that at this point. Can we at least fly by the moon and come back? Alright, separation and already on the spark. I didn't really want to be on the spark at this point, but here we are. And not only that, we're about to go down too, so let's try to avoid that. Oh great, we just lost comms. <laughs> well, forgot about that business. On the bright side, if we keep burning for the moon, eventually we'll be able to hit it. Maybe we should go to Minmus instead. <laughs> Mission creep. Anyway, um, 
But for science, we could do that. We need that too. But I can't... I can't control it anymore. But yeah, basically we just need more ground stations. Uh, even if there was a longer range from the island airfield, because of the horizon we would not be able to connect to it. I should have tossed this up a little bit higher. Or a lot higher. Well, um... We're gonna pass right by the orbit of the moon, but we probably didn't have enough to make orbit. Maybe for a flyby mission to, and then come back. Well, it's very indefinite sort of thing. Now, if the moon could be nice enough to sling us back so that we're suborbital, that'd be great. <laughs> but the moon has this really tiny SOI, so I don't know. I don't know when we're going to encounter it. We're going to see. Right now, if we can... I mean, we're not going to be hitting the atmosphere at all. It's just a matter of... Whether we encounter the moon in such a way that it gets us into Kerbin's atmosphere. Oh, uh, but it just sort of misses. This time... Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's dead now. Yeah, well, it's already passed. Okay, well, that didn't work out for me. Back to Space Center. Let's focus on the temperature surveys plus the polar orbit. Mm -hmm. And skip the trying to return to Kerbin for now. So that way we'll skip the heat shield and hopefully we'll have more Delta V. And also the parachute goes. I don't know if I should have the nose cone, and we'll have the ant. I'm gonna tune these down a bit more. It cuts into our delta V though to keep them on for longer. But obviously I don't want to get too fast in the lower atmosphere, it's too hard to control it. Well, now we have 10,478, so that's a lot better. But we need to toss it up higher so that we can maintain communication. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and launch. Okay, but it's wobbly because it's all balancing on the ant, basically. The controller is underneath, uh, on top of the ant. So that's a bit rough. Oh, 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 no! Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Rocket. I believe in you. Okay, booster set. Alright, oh! Oh, uh, it wants to flip more after I separate the boosters, which is unpleasant. Uh, okay, okay, back there, back there. Okay, not a full flip this time at least. Just some minor deviations. And staging and ignition. Well, dawns around here are quite ominous. That's for sure. Okay, staging. And the spark. Yeah, comsats aren't helping. Maybe, maybe I should up the range. Okay, let's try to make orbit before we lose comms. Though, at least this time it won't overburn because this stage will just run out. Okay, okay, just in time. <laughs> just in time. Alright, we've got 426 left here, so 3,000 altogether. And the moon is there, so we basically want to burn... Um, let's see, that's 90 degrees, so somewhere over here. Well, the moon does move quite a lot. 
even during one of our orbits. Oh, I do need to turn on the... Oh, yes, we do have to have comms as well. And then I have to turn on the hibernate during warp. Okay, we have weak comms. Um, hibernate during warp. And weak comms is actually from that comm set. This is like our first use of a comm set. Okay, well, from that altitude. So we need to set them at like 3,000 kilometers or lower. Then they might work out for us as long as we have two of these in tonight. That's my theory right now anyway. Okay, let's try to go. And on to the ant. Why is there five meters per second left? Obviously there isn't. Alright, but we're not just going to have to get into an orbit around the moon, we're going to have to get into a polar orbit around the moon, which is trickier. Especially since the moon's SOI is so small and we can't plot anything and we can't see the results until way late. It's not easy to do a radial burn to correct things around the moon ahead of time. On the bright side, we'll have a fair amount of Delta V here. Okay, let's try that. We're recharging, but this isn't the optimal position for that. Let's go like this. All right. Up we go. Uh, it's gonna hang out there enough. I think so. It looks like it's crashing into it right now, but okay. Now it's not. Now it is. <laughs> It's intimidating. It's very intimidating. Come on. We're, we're seriously not going to be in the SOI like this? Okay, great. Um, let's say I slow down by speeding up. Uh, how much does it take to actually match speeds with the moon's orbit here? Uh, probably more than I want to spend. I'll just wait. Okay, this time, will it work this time? Okay, okay, we're in, but it's rough. Um, I might have misjudged the scale of the problem here. We have what appears to be an orbit. But uh, we don't have enough delta V left to do anything and we're definitely not inclined the way we need to be. It's just really hard without any sort of flight planning. And we have to be very low over those sites in order to do anything. I can try... Oh, we already flung out. We, we weren't properly in orbit even. Okay, okay. This is going to be a pain. He's got a line back, but yeah. Uh, back to Space Center. Well, let's see. Switching from these antennae 
to these, which sort of seem to work from the moon anyway. And let's even go so far as to say just one. I'll try and place it close to the center. That gives us basically a thousand meters per second more. I mean, we don't need it to be a relay for the mission. Would you believe they have a whole other set of temperature surveys here for us? <laughs> uh, well, you know, we'll hit some of them. The advance is good. The problem right now is that I can't get this tracking system, uh, tracking station upgrade. That's that's all I need. We need a hundred thousand more to get that. Now, once we can do that, I think we can get all this done much easier. Okay, but let me just try the flyby and return version. So this is just going to be trying to return. We're not carrying any thermometer. And we've got a battery on top, we've got the solar panels, we've got just this com Comutron 16S. Let me see the one that's communicating from the moon right now, what, whether it has one or two of those. We've got the ant stage as well as the spark stage here, so it's, it's all the stuff. Ant, spark, terrier, swivel, the works. Yeah, this one just has one antenna, so that should be fine. Let me just time warp to daylight here, and then we'll try that one. I want to see if we can come back, but it's still a long shot. Whoa, that's some... Some cloud, some fog. Let's pass that, maybe. Alrighty, throttle up, SAS on, and go. Remember, just one limitation is the fact that we're limited to 30 parts right now. Probably the most ridiculous limitation of them all. Oh no, come on. Otherwise I'd put fins. Otherwise I'd definitely put fins. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're way off from our intended vector, and flip. Yeah. Okay, staging. Terrier engine. And staging. Yep, it's the spark again. We can just let the stage burn out, but it has to be oriented right. Oh, we already lost comms. Well, this is our orientation then. Let us see if we make it. This antenna wouldn't be powerful enough to pick up the commsats either. Okay, well, just about enough. But I probably don't like where the apoapsis ended up. But we'll have to take it. So we're periapsis on this side. Okay, well, make sure hibernate and warp. Oop, time warp. And staging. Okay, this time as we pass the KSC, I think we can burn. Okay, we'll start now. On the side. And go. Oop. Oh, that's not working. Go. Oh, but we're pretty high. Gosh. So that's inefficient. Uh, I have to deal with comms as well, so... Okay. I mean, we definitely don't have enough to get into orbit around the moon and come back, so just to fly by and trying to come back. Still very, very much pushing the boundaries, but... 
Really, it's about the money. It's about the money. I wish they'd give Minmus contracts. We could do a flyby of Minmus. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough. Alright. And let's orient for charge. Well, the moon's eclipsing the sun right there. And actually, that is potentially limiting what charge we're getting? I think so. Okay, moon. Grab us, please. Please. Oh no, no, we were too... I should have gone higher. Ah, uh, this again. Okay, going around. Just need to be able to plot. We'll get there. Okay, this time. This time should be definite, right? Oh, oh, crash course, crash course. Warning, warning. Too bad we're not carrying any signs, otherwise we'd finally get low over the moon. Oh, so there's no way to use this to figure out what our resulting orbit around Kerbin is. And that could end up being high. So I want to pull it out away from the moon as much as possible here. So the moon doesn't have as much influence, but... Could toss us up high. It seems like we're going in the free return friendly direction though. Alright, I'll take 50 kilometers and see. So we are passing by the moon. Ooh, where's our probe? There it is. So flyby, yes, but then there's Kerbin. Kerbin Rise is a huge thing around here. Okay, but what kind of orbit will we be in once we get around Kerbin again? Okay, nope, that's a good periapsis. I'm going to go around once to make sure that we're at apoapsis when we do the burn. And let me make sure that we're oriented a little bit better for power. So the moon really can't do a whole lot to your Kerbin orbit when Kerbin's so big. Hopefully we'll have enough juice. We're going pretty fast here already. So hopefully we'll have enough juice to bring it down. One of the keys might be to get Minmus Science in order to be able to unlock larger tanks and thereby solve the part count issue. Okay, well 31.7 is sort of like the kind of returns that I tested in Sandbox. So once we reorient, let's see if that continues to work out. We do, do have only half the ablator, but in sandbox that seemed to work, so... Now one thing is we don't have a way to prearrange its orientation, and we might lose comms. In fact, we will lose comms, so... I'm gonna try and aim it right, and also arm the parachute. I'm thinking about whether to eject the stage now. I think so. Well, we still have comms, that's good. But we're not going to have that for too long. Please orient properly. You're mostly retrograde. Oh boy. Well, ablation is happening. Oh, I don't want to see that thermometer. Give up, SAS. Give up. Just let it go retrograde. Significant G-force. We're below low carbon orbit speeds. Alright, we are through it. We have 19 units of ablator left. 
And I'm hoping the parachute will pop out at the appropriate time. Let's set it to 0.21 on the pressure. And there we go. Don't know what exactly is causing all those shadows. Is this mountainous? Well, it's land, that's for sure. Alright, parachute is out. Alright, it has landed and... Well, I can clear some of this stuff up. We did get Explore the Moon, the flyby part done. And that was a good amount of money. That was nearly 50000 so let's recover vessel here. And it's raining, and we've got thunder and such. And we got some extra science, even though I didn't do science, so that's nice. Um, I should have picked up. There was a science data from space around the moon. I guess it would have counted. That would have been a good idea. But I didn't have any room in the contract slots. I've got all seven. We just need 48,000 plus the cost of other rockets uh, in order to unlock the tracking station. Wow, serious effects here. So, all right. Well, we'll see what we can do. It's going to be interesting. This is a struggle. This is, this is properly difficult. Um, other things sometimes are just tedious. This is just... This is difficult. <laughs> this is difficult. So, uh, we'll see what I come up with in the next video. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.